Hello and welcome to Fernbank Science Center's The Sky This Week for the end of September 2021. The moon is at last quarter phase this week. There are bright planets in the south part of the sky for most of the evening. And there are some of the bright summer stars left over high overhead. Start at the beginning of the week, and this time look almost straight high up in the sky. There are three very bright stars that mark the corners of a huge triangle on the early evening sky. Those three stars. And this is really big. When you find it on the real sky outside, it takes up most of the top part of the sky near the zenith, the highest point on the sky. There are bright planets in the southern part of the sky. Jupiter and Saturn are the bright ones toward the eastern, southeastern part of the sky, and Venus is the brilliant evening star toward the west. Now, when you find these on the real sky, they will not be these exaggerated sizes. Brighter objects in this image are made larger so that you notice where they are. Venus is the brightest of the three. Jupiter is pretty easy to find. Saturn might be a little trickier unless you have a really dark sky. Let's look at that triangle for a second. The brightest of the three stars is Vega, part of the constellation Lyra, the lyre. Deneb, the tail feathers of Cygnus, the swan. And Altair, part of Aquila, the eagle. Zoom in on Vega a bit. There's a bent over box of stars hanging off Vega. That is the lyre, the musical instrument for Orpheus. Zoom in close, and there are interesting things sort of buried within that constellation. The harp of or, or the rather the lyre of Orpheus, small stringed instrument. Orpheus was the Greek musician of mythology. His music was so wonderful, stones stopped to listen and trees bowed down according to the stories. That little instrument high up in the sky, the two stars down near what I think of as the bottom of the lyre, there's an, a deep sky object, an object that is far away in space. You can see it if you have a little telescope, it looks like a little smoke ring, or if you have a really nice big telescope, it looks a little bit bigger on the sky, not so great with binoculars, and you can't see it with just your eyes, even with a really good sky. The Hubble Space Telescope, however, has taken beautiful images of the ring nebula. And it turns out it's a big bubble of gas expanding out from that tiny star left over there in the center, a white dwarf star. It's a bubble of gas, but the dark blue part of the middle is actually a football shaped feature. We're looking at that end on. And as a star gives off bubbles of gas or a star explodes, different elements are created in that explosion. And in this picture, they've been colorized to show which different elements there are. That dark blue center represents helium. There's a lighter blue ring around it that's oxygen and hydrogen and the outside edges of reddish color, it's the gases from nitrogen and sulfur. So as stars explode, or in this case, puff off bubbles of gas, heavier elements are created. The last quarter moon, when the light is on the left, happens toward the middle of the week. When you look at the moon, if you're looking with binoculars or even with a little telescope, the best observing of the moon is not when it's full. That's when it's really bright and kind of flat looking. Other phases when you can see shadows of craters, for example, along that line that forms the terminator, the dividing line between the daytime and nighttime sides on the moon. That's much more interesting for looking with binoculars or small telescopes. This month, it's on September 28th. At 9.57 p.m. is the official last quarter moon. At that time, the moon is not yet in the sky. The last quarter moon rises at midnight. So you'll have to wait a little to see that left-hand side lit up. By the time you do see the moon in the early morning sky, it will already have moved along its orbit some and become a waning 
crescent. Toward the end of the week, look toward the north part of the sky. If you're not sure which way is north, figure out for your observing place which way the sun appears to rise. Put your right shoulder in that direction and you'll be facing north. In this image, there's a handy red N on the horizon to indicate that direction. And just to the left of there is a pattern we call the Big Dipper. Seven fairly bright stars with a long handle. Three stars for the handle. And a cup or bowl shape. Four more stars. The pattern is part of the constellation the Big Bear, Ursa Major, and it's handy for finding navigation aid, the North Star. Draw a line between the two end stars on the dipper's bowl, about five bowl lengths across, and you come to Polaris, the, what we call the North Star. Zoom in a little bit, find that Big Dipper again, Handle stars, bowl stars, handle stars, bowl stars. Draw the line out to find Polaris. And Polaris is on the end of the handle of the Little Dipper, a much smaller pattern of stars, a cup and a handle, but a smaller pattern, dimmer stars, really hard to find out there on the sky, unless you have a really dark observing spot. Polaris is really famous, but it's not all that bright. Finding it, you can use those pointer stars on the Big Dipper. Dewey is one of them, the one closest to the lip of the Dipper, and Merak is the one farther down. Those two point toward Polaris, the North Star, and what I think of as the pointers on the Little Dipper, even though they don't point anywhere, the one closest to the lip, Koshad, and Burkett. Finding those stars on the evening sky, and it might be a little tricky with, if there's a lot of moonlight around, those are interesting ways to figure out where you are on the planet. The altitude of Polaris, how high it is in degrees above the northern horizon, that's your latitude here on the Earth. And as always, thanks very much for listening this week. Thank you for checking out Fernbank Science Center's website, www.fernbank.edu, for sharing in our at-home planetarium programs on Fernbank's Facebook page on Friday evenings, and have a great week.